Test, test, test. Okay. Hello everyone, my name is Ishan Jolly, I'm a voice actor and Twitch streamer and welcome to this video where I will be showcasing and testing out the Camden EC1 microphone preamp with all the microphones that I have on hand. The TLM-103, the TLM-102, the AKG C414XL2, the Shaw SM7B, the Electrovoice RE20. And yes, that is it. So, let's start off with the TLM-103. And yeah, I shaved. I was messing around at like 5am being like, hey, let's see if I tighten up the beard, maybe I can make it low and tighter and all that. And then I went too far, and I was like, oh, okay, fine, screw it, I'll try out a goatee. Now, it's me, Discount Johnny Depp. You can call me Jolly Depp. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Right, okay. So, let's showcase these features. This microphone, the TLM-13, is set at 30 decibels of gain right now, and it's hitting about minus six-ish out the loudest moments I've been speaking so far. And I haven't been really speaking that loud so far. So yes, 30 decibels for the TLM-103. Here is with the polarity patterns flipped. And that's how it sounds. And here it is back to normal. And then here's without the high-pass filter. And here is with the high-pass filter engaged. So there should be a slight difference in the bass response. I can at least hear it in my headphones. I don't know if you can over YouTube, but hey, there's what it is. And now let's showcase this thing. The mojo circuit. So there's cream and there's thump styles. Cream adds in some sort of like harmonic distortion around the middles. And then the thump adds in like a nice solid bass. So let me just go through and um, dial up the, the things in both settings. Okay, so first off with cream. Now the cream is activated. It is now at about 25%. Now it is about 40%. Now it is at about 50% on the cream. Now it's around 65%. 75% around 80 to 90 percent and then maxed out with that cream harmonic distortion and there we go that is with the cream style okay so this is full and then back to 50 percent for a reference and then turned off completely and now let's check out the thump now thump is enabled so it's zero now it is at uh 25 ish percent 35 40 percent then like 50 percent then 60%, 70%, 80%, like 90, 100%. So this is maxed out with the thump. The thump adds in like a nice solid low end. I think this is a bit much, but like say at around 50, 60% with the TLM-103, especially because the TLM-103 is such like a bright microphone, this is like a really nice sound in my opinion. Maybe this is a bit much. Maybe if I turn on the high pass filter here. No, I don't like the way that sounds. That sounds like it cuts out too much. Maybe if I just turn this down a bit to around 40%, maybe that's a nice sound. But yeah, with the bright microphone like the TLM-103, this is a really nice sound. I like it. Right. So now let me swap over to the next microphone, the Neumann TLM-102. Let's go. Mic check, mic check. Okay, this is way quieter. Maybe because it's a bit further from my mouth? Is it further from my mouth? Okay. Um, so 30 decibels seems to be not enough for this. Let's try clicking that one up higher. I know this microphone is a bit quieter. There we go. Okay, I think these are getting similar levels to the TLM-103. So just one click up, which is in between 30 and 41. So I'm assuming around 36 decibels again with a Neumann TLM-102. Okay. Oh, sh the, the thumb circle is still engaged. No matter, no matter. Turn it back down. There we go. So <laughs> that had 50, that was around 40% thump. Okay, so here is the Neumann TLM-102 with uh, nothing engaged here. Let's um, turn the polarity in inverse, and that's how this sounds. There we go. And then turn this microphone like this to cut, to cut out some of um, the lower end. That's how that sounds with the high-pass filter on. Boost it back up. And now let's turn the cream setting. Now here we have at 25% on the cream. Now at about 40% cream, then 50% on cream, then 60% on cream, 75% on cream, like 90% cream, and then maxed out cream. This one sounds like the cream like doesn't affect it as much. It doesn't sound as awful at maxed out. I wouldn't say awful, it doesn't sound so extreme on this microphone compared to the TLM-103. Maybe it's because of the difference in the frequency response. I don't know what frequency this is affecting, but that's how this is. It is back down to 50% for a reference. And now it's here, it's completely off. And now switching over to the thump setting. Now the thump at 25%. And now about 45%, 50%, 60%, 75-ish percent, 
90%, there we go, now it's maxed out. This is a very, very boomy, very, very low-end sound. And this microphone is less bright than the TLM 103, so maybe don't add in this much bass. Maybe around this much bass, if you want to go for the real podcastery sound, or this much bass is the same as what I had on the TLM 103, can give you a nice sound for like a live stream or a podcast or something. That's nice, and there we go. That is the Neumann TLM 102 with this preamp okay now switching over to the akg c414 xl2 there we go okay mic mic check mic check how does it sound with these levels okay seems to be in line with the rest of the microphones so 36 ish or whatever the middle between 30 and 41 is is correct for this microphone as well so this is the akg c414 xl2 in the cardioid polar pattern with none of the switches on the back enabled. Okay, so here let's flip the polarity, and this is what it sounds like with a flip polarity. Uh, putting that back up, and now the high pass filter without a high pass filter, and now with a high pass filter, and then switching it back up. Now, hey, here is around 25% of that cream distortion. Now it's around 50% of that cream effect. Now it's around 65 ish percent. Now 75% of that cream stuff. And now it's about 90%, and now it's maxed out on the cream uh, mojo. So that's how this sounds. And now back down to 50%, and then off. And now with the thump, here is around 25% thump, around 40% thump, 50% thump, uh, around 60% thump, 75% thump, 80% thump, and then maxed out thump. This one doesn't seem to get as bassy as the Neumann microphones did, which is quite interesting. This one doesn't sound anywhere near as bassy. So maybe uh, with a high pass filter, this sounds very, um, this sounds more like a regular normal bassy mic. It doesn't actually sound like it's been colored. I don't know. I'm just listening back through my headphones. I'll be watching the video back anyway afterwards, and I'll be learning alongside you guys, right? <laughs> I'm still testing out this microphone. Uh, not microphone, sorry. I'm testing out this preamp. It just came in today. So I'm testing it out, and I'm demonstrating it for you guys. But I don't exactly know what everything does exactly. So I'm also learning along with you guys. Nice. High pass filter off, and then the mojo style turned back to down to default to zero. And now let's switch down back to, let's switch to the, let's see, which mic should I switch to now? Let's go with the Behringer XM8500, the 15 pound microphone. Will this make this sound amazing? I don't know, let's see, it already sounds pretty good, not gonna lie. Let's go. Check, check, mic, check. Check, check, mic, check. Okay. So, in between 41 and 52 on the, um, on the Cranbourne, uh, EC1, uh, actually, that still seems a bit quiet. Let's, uh, see. Let's, uh, try 52. Okay. There we go. Okay, this seems a bit louder. This seems, okay, well, uh, 52 seems a bit loud, and 40 and the whatever's in between seems a bit quiet. So I will just go with this and then turn this down by like two decibels to make it match with the rest of the things. It's not that much louder than the rest of these microphones. Okay, so this is the Behringer XM8500 run through this preamp with nothing turned on. So hey, here is with the polarity switch engaged and then with the polarity switch disengaged. Here is with the high pass filter disengaged and now the high pass filter has been engaged. Then turning it off. Now let's go to the cream setting to get some harmonic distortion up in here. Let's go with around 25% here, and now about 45%, 50%, 60%, 75%, 80%, and then like maxed out. So this is the um, Behringer XM8500 maxed out cream on the Mojo style, whatever this is, Mojo thingy, on the Camden EC1. This uh, sounds quite heavily distorted. I mean, this is a very cheap microphone. I can't imagine it holding up very, very well through heavy, heavy coloration. But hey, there we go. That's the cream. Now turning that back off. And now into thump, which adds in some of that nice bass. Here we go. Now this is about 25% on the thump. Now it's about 50% on the thump. And now it's about 70%, uh, 65% on the thump. Now about 75% on the thump. 80-ish percent on the thump. And then 100% on the thump. Okay. Now, this actually sounds quite nice to me. Maybe turning on the high, high pass filter. And this could be an interesting sound. Let's see. Maybe. Maybe this is very good. I don't know why you would spend 15 pounds on a microphone and then 600, 550 on um, a preamp. Don't know why you would do that. But hey, if you wanted to do that, 
this is the kind of sound you get out of this microphone. It's kind of just a test. Uh, is this clipping or is it just clipping my ears? I don't know. It seems like it's fine. This would go like uh, red if it was clipping, right? This, this, this light here. So it should be fine. Okay. Now, the Shaw SM7B. Let's go. Okay, mic check, mic check, Shaw SM7B. Mic check, mic check, Shaw SM7B. This could do with like maybe one more notch of gain. Let's see. Okay, hey, here we go. This one seems a bit loud, actually. Say so if I, okay, if I step away a tiny bit from the microphone, step away, like move it back a bit. There we go. This is now matching around the minus six-ish where every other microphone has been averaging. Okay, here we go. Now, uh... Here is with, um, I'm pretty sure nothing is engaged right now. Let's turn the high pass filter on so that cuts out some of the bass from this microphone. And then turning the high pass filter back on. Switching the polarity down to this makes it sound like this. This is a very weird sound in my headphones. Don't know how it's going to sound in the recording, but there you go. Back up there. And now let's set this to cream. And then add in about 25% cream on the signal to this SM7B. Now uh, we're at about 45% on the cream, 50%. 60%, 70%, 78%, whatever, 80%, I don't know, uh, 90 100%. So this is too much. This is a lot of cream. Wow, that's some heavy distortion there. Wow, interesting sound. Okay. But I think the cream really helps out this microphone, for, in my opinion. Like, I was doing a live stream earlier today with um, this microphone, and the cream set to about 50 to 60%. I was doing some compression through my GoXLR. It was like a threshold minus 20, and then the makeup gain was 10 decibels, and it was a ratio 4 to 1. That was the compression I'm pretty sure I was using for the live stream. It'll be on my VOD channel. If you want to go to my VOD channel, it'll be the Watchdogs one. It should be uploaded now. I export them as soon as after. As soon as I finish my live stream, I export them to my VOD channel. So it should be there. Um, if it's not, it might be processing, but I'm not going to upload it right now, so it should be finished processing by then. Yes, okay. <laughs> there we go. So it's 50% cream, 100% cream, and then 0% cream. And now the thump. The thump adds in bass. So let's try the thump. I think it might be a bit too much for this microphone, but let's see. So around 25% thump, 50% thump, and now about uh, 78, uh, I don't know how much this is, 65% thump, 75% thump, 80% thump, and then maxed out thump. I'm throwing a very like approximate values. That's not exactly what it is, but hey, okay, this microphone sounds so damn bassy right now. Maybe a high bass filter there would be good. So this might be a nice sound if you want to go for this. This is a very warm, sort of woolly sound. Yeah, let's turn that off and then um, turn it back down to neutral. So this is a short SM7B without any coloration, just going clean through the Camden Audio EC1 preamp. Okay, I believe this is the last microphone, I think. Yes, the Electro Voice RE20. Let's go. Okay, hey, here we have the Electrovoice RE20 run through the Camden Audio EC1 with no, um, none of these effects applied. Okay, first off, let's flip the polarity and see how it sounds with the polarity switch engaged. Okay, this is how it sounds. And now out removing that. And now the high pass filter. Engaging the high pass filter and see how that sounds on the RE20 and turning that off. Now, let's turn the cream circuit and let's see what it does. So, around 25% of that cream distortion. Now, at around 50% with the cream setting on the mojo. And now, at around 75% of that cream style m distortion on the mojo. And now, maxed out cream distortion. Let's sound. That's a very distorted sound in my headphones. I wonder how it sounds for you guys. Now, turn that back off and this is neutral completely. Now, thump. Let's see what the thump does to this microphone. Uh, here, we have 25% of thump. Now about 45% of thump, and now about 65-55% uh, thump, now 75% of thump, and now maxed out thump. Because this microphone doesn't have a proximity effect, so if you want a proximity effect, you can just boost that thump all the way up to maybe around here-ish, and just get like a nice smooth sound. Well, this mic sounds pretty bassy by itself. It doesn't even need a proximity effect, honestly. But hey, this is how it sounds, like this. And hey, high pass filter and maxed out thump. Could be an interesting sound, could add in some of that thickness and also cut out some of that rumble, if that's what you're looking for. There you go. Right, so, let's see, I think I liked a bit of thump there. Okay, so, here we go. That is my demonstration of all the microphones I have in combination with the Camden Audio EC1 preamp. So, 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have anything to ask with, ask me, feel free to drop into my Twitch live streams. I stream every day at 8 p.m. UK time. So guys, thank you so much for watching. See you all later and goodbye.